Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. We are now within a couple of weeks of the launch of the Ryzen 3000 lineup, with the 3900X being the flagship for a little while until the 3950X launches in September. But I do fully plan on getting that 12 core and 24 thread 3900X, along with a brand new X570 motherboard. And I wanted to go over a few of my plans for the Ryzen 3000 launch and for the weeks thereafter of testing that new processor new platform because it's a major upgrade for my main system which I do all of my editing on and frankly quite a bit of gaming on as well and I need your help a little bit with figuring out just what I want to test and what you guys might be interested in seeing. So before I talk a little bit about the actual testing that these Ryzen chips are going to go through and no of course this is not a 3900 Xbox this is a Ryzen 5 2600 box set that aside now. So first up, here's my plans for the 3900X in the days following launch. Hopefully I'll be getting my hands on it almost immediately, but there is always the, the sort of risk that I don't get my hands on the 3900X immediately. Uh, I will be staying tuned because I have to purchase this myself. So as soon as pre-orders or orders open up, I gotta be on it and ready to hit the buy button because frankly, I expect these processors to sell out fairly quickly at least in the days and weeks after launch. I don't necessarily expect them to be all that available. I expect there to be back orders and that sort of thing, but hopefully I'll be able to snag one very early on and be able to get it in my hands either on launch day or very near launch day. But I'm definitely gonna be running your basic uh, synthetic test that everyone runs. You know, your R15, Cinebench that is, R15, R20. I'll probably run some 3D mark on it just to see the CPU score, how it compares to the 1800X that is currently in my main system over there as well. I'll probably run some video renders in Adobe Premiere just to see if we see much improvement or what kind of improvement, what kind of scaling we see with the new processor. Obviously, I'll be running several gaming benchmarks as well. PUBG's already been recommended for me. I'm gonna run Fortnite, Apex, mostly because those are very popular games. Overwatch, I think I'm gonna go ahead and purchase Anno 1800 because that's a game I'm interested in anyways, and I would be very curious to see how it does with the 1800X versus the 3900X. But this is where you guys come in a little bit, and I wanna hear in those comments down below or even tweet directly to me at Hoosier Hardware. Let me know what kind of testing you wanna see carried out with specific games, specific applications, or even specific synthetic benchmarks. Let me know what you want me to actually test out with the 3900X, and I'll see if I can accommodate some of that, especially if it's very popular, uh, especially on the gaming side, if it's very popular. Keep in mind, I'm gonna be testing with the 1080 Ti that's in my main system as well. Now I wanna talk a little bit about some of my other plans for content surrounding the 3900X. So one of the unique facets of AMD's AM4 platform right now is that the X370 boards and B350 boards depending on your vendor, are likely to be supporting even third generation Ryzen. So I have several X370 boards laying around. So what I plan on doing, one of the big things I plan on doing is taking the 3900X, plugging it into an X370 board. I have an Asus Prime Pro, which is probably gonna be the board I use for that, and see just what kind of overclock I can get on X370 versus X570. So that's definitely gonna be a, a piece of content. I'm also gonna be throwing this thing into an ITX rig. I have an Asus, I believe it's a B350 board. Uh, I want to say it's one of their Strix uh, ITX boards that I want to be throwing this in as well to see if I can still get a really solid overclock and stability in an ITX form factor. Now, albeit the specific case I'm going to be using is an NZXT one that does feature an AIO. So it is going to still have really nice cooling, but even at that form factor, you know, how much performance can you get out of the 3900X in a mini ITX enclosure, even if it is one of the larger enclosures. So there'll be an ITX build. Uh, it, it'll only be together probably temporarily because I don't anticipate using it long-term, but I am gonna throw this thing into an ITX build and see exactly how that performs as well on an older ITX motherboard. So I'm not gonna be getting a brand new uh, X570 or B550 motherboard. I'm gonna be using, I believe it's a B350 board. It might be an X370 board, but that is on the way as well. And I just ordered today some faster RAM for my main system. I'm getting a two by 16 kit. So 32 gigabytes of Corsair Vengeance RGB Pro. This is rated at 3200 
megahertz with a cast latency of rated at 16 and that's going to replace my time tech 2400 megahertz ram so what i'm going to do is since the time tech dims are also 16 gigabytes i'm going to be testing the 3900x with slower ram versus faster ram to see what kind of differences we see in both gaming and uh, also synthetics and probably also some productivity as well down the road now obviously all of this content is gonna take a good little bit of time for me to not just do all the testing, but then put all the pieces together. And it's gonna be basically a Ryzen 3900X channel for a little while after launch. Now I'll try to probably spruce in some other uh, things there as well beyond Ryzen, but really as it's gonna be the new main part in my main rig, the new brains of the operation, if you will, uh, I'm gonna be focused on the 3900X for some time. Now I am also willing to disable cores if you wanna see me disable cores and try other testing as well, just maybe as a way of how generally do these new uh, Zen 2 cores work. I can do that as well if you guys are interested in that sort of thing. So that's sort of the game plan moving forward as we get now within two weeks of the Ryzen 3900X launch. And uh, I'm still considering getting a 3600 and testing that out and possibly even giving that one away because uh, I never did a 10,000 subscriber giveaway of any kind or anything like that. So I feel like that might be a good way of thanking all of you guys out there that watch these videos. But basically the whole purpose of this video is to fill you in on what I plan on doing with my 3900X whenever I get it in. But also I wanted to reach out and just ask for general recommendations. What do you wanna see me do with the 3900X? What type of uh, overclocking videos? For example, I'll probably be doing one of those at least just to see how well this thing overclocks. Uh, I just generally wanna know what you guys would be interested in because I wanna make some pretty good content with the 3900X. And I think it's gonna be a, uh, a platform that's gonna be really fun to test out, really fun to play around with, but I wanna do things that you're actually interested in. So please, by all means, head down to the comments. Let me know what you wanna see me do. Head over to Hoosier Hardware on uh, uh, Twitter and Instagram, at Hoosier Hardware for both of those. You can let me know in my DMs or just tweet me or whatever the case is. Just let me know what you wanna see. And uh, if there seems to be demand for those types of tests that you may be recommending, I'll definitely be happy to carry those out. So that's it, I'm done rambling. Again, follow me, Twitter, Instagram, like the video, subscribe, hit the bell, you know, all those things that do help out the channel a lot. Uh, I'll let YouTube queue up a couple more videos that I'm sure are related to this one. And uh, with all that said, I'll see you guys in the next video.